Hello, it's another great day to eat like a king. I am here in New York City today. Wonderful day here in New York. Um, the sun is shining. It's supposed to rain a bit, but just look at it. it. Does not look like it's gonna rain anytime soon, which means it's a great day to eat like a king. Um, I'm going downtown today to explore a bunch of um, different restaurants with my friend Kenny as he's compiled a list. So today, it's basically a food tour of um, New York with me. Um, and Kenny. Um, hopefully there's lots of good food coming up today and um, yeah, should be a great day of eating. Today is here at um, Jian Bing Shop. It's like a Beijing traditional street food snack. Jian Bing Guozi. They advertise on their sign as having five layers of sensation. Here's to hoping they live up to that. I'm so excited. I haven't had this in a while. So just made it now to Yubu, which is our second stop on the trip, but the Jamin was a place to not have seating. So I'm now here with Kenny. He finally made it after I had to wait like five minutes for him. Um, but so we're gonna try out the Jambi first. Um, and we walk like a good two block and it's still piping hot. Just hoping that the crunch inside doesn't go away. As I said, five layers of sensation on their advertising. Mm. Um, we got regular spicy. We got, we added zatai, like citron pickles and spam. Um, mm. I just finally got a bite of you know, crispy, a crispy piece of, um, it's almost like a deep fried wonton skin type thing you put in there with the spam and it's high. And then they have the sauce, not slightly sweet, and it has like this, a slightly numbing too. It's like got the Sichuan, um twist to it. I've been craving a jamming goza for a really long time, so it might be influencing my opinions a bit, but this is satisfying all my cravings right now. Great first stop of the day. Um, I got a dough jam to wash it all down. Perfect. Um, So, even comes with like a, oh, it comes in like a plastic bag. Mm. As close to a local Chinese breakfast experience as you can get in the U.S. Mm. That is good. Our 
So our Yubu just arrived. Second stop of today, and Kenny said to eat this like it's a pizza. But it's like this sushi type thing. Um, we got salmon and cod roe um, as our two like, um, they're almost like large sushi rolls, but uh, so it's kind of it's like this. It's gonna. Mm. Mm. The salmon is slightly salty. It's almost like a. It's almost like smoked salmon type of vibe. I want to try the um, cardro. I'm actually really excited about this one. Mmm. It's like mm, creamy. It's really, really creamy. It's very mayo-y. Um, Penny was saying that to put the um, the mayo on top of the salmon. And honestly, I feel like that might be the move. Um, now that we're done eating our first two stops, I'll do a quick rating here. Jim being, I'd give it a solid eight and a half to nine out of ten. One number. One number? Um, 8.75 out of 10. And then the um, Yubu, I'd say a 7 out of 10. Um, Kenny, your thoughts? I give the Jemmy 8.3 and the Yubu 8.7. All right, so opinions after our first two stops of the day. Um, now, waiting for Kenny to take us to our third stop. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we are here at our next stop at Marinara Pizza. Um, Kenny read that their MVP is supposed to be really good. Kenny, you want to say what MVP stands for? MVP stands for Marinara Vodka Pesto. So not most valuable player. Not most valuable player. Basically, it's like just like stripes. You'll see. All right. So we're waiting for it now. Excited. All right. So pizza has arrived. Um, here you go, it's Kenny was describing the stripes. Um, oh, it's piping hot. All right, let's try this. Mmm. Not bite with that pesto and vodka. Not yet the marinara, the store I assume is named after. Mmm. It's like eating a flatbread with different sauces on it. It's actually pretty good. I don't know if I'd like call it pizza. It's like a flatbread with sausage. Hey, there's, I, there's parmesan on top. There's parmesan on top. But if you count it like that, I'd give it like a... No, it's tasty. I'm like an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Alright, let's see. I think 7 6 for me. Not bad. I'll eat it. Kenny couldn't help himself and um, he decided to go ahead and get a stuffed crust pizza as well so we're waiting for that to come now. So not quite done with marinara yet. Excited. It should be really good. Alright, this humongous beast of a slice of pizza that enticed Kenny has finally arrived. And I don't know how we're going to continue our food tour after this. It's so big. But, nevertheless, go for it. Look at how thick this thing it's is. It's tough crust. That's the important part. It's so thick. I don't even know where to begin. It's tough crust. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
pretty good. I would say better than the Pizza Hut stuff crust. Bruh, that's um, slander. That stuff is fire. I give it like a 7, 8. You still like the marinara? Oh, I, I, kind of, I quite like that. Okay, if you treat that as flat bread with sauces, so eight. <laughs> this is pizza rating. Pizza I'm, rating. A, I'm a thin, I'm a thin slice type, type oh, of guy. Okay. So we'll see what Kenny thinks. Seven nine. I'm almost there. I'm so good. I think those are our closest rating so far. No? Alright, so assuming we can continue eating after finishing this huge piece, um, excited for our next stop. We have just made a 20 minute walk down to um, Beria here. Boba. Boba. And we got Boba along the way. But the 20 minute walk is mainly because we're so full. We just need, we, we honestly just needed um, some sort of exercise. But here we are, next stop, tacos. Hopefully they're good. So, tacos just came. They look really, really good. They're, right, we just got two because I don't know how much more we can eat here. But we got two beef, uh, one with cheese, one without. Oh my God, right off the bat, it's like super, super oily. This shell is slightly hard, but soft. It's like a hybrid, almost, I would say. Just squeeze some of that lime. So, just squeeze some lime on it, and it has like some hot sauce. But for that, I'll just. So, how this works is I have consomme here. I'm just gonna basically dip it in here, and then. Mmm. Mm. Mm. And the consomme is mmm. Mmm. That is really, really good. Mmm. Never thought that I would need a dip taco in anything, but Kenny has been talking about this for a really long time. This is actually really good. Like, the consomme adds, helps solve the dryness in the taco, and it also like, has a lot of beef meaty flavor in here, and it almost intensifies that. It gives it a nice little, it's like a nice balance to the um, flavors from the taco. It's a bit more of a mild meat flavor, but then it like, it complements it so well, and then it adds a bit of meat flavor as well. It's, I'm gonna try some with the hot sauce now. Quite a little bit. So I'm gonna just dip a little bit of hot sauce on there. Enough for one bite. And then dip it in. You don't really taste that much of the hot sauce. I think it might have been washed out by the consomme. It's so, mm. I think this is the most unexpected flavors of today. So, I give this a good 8.1. No? No. 8.1. Mm. This has an add-on, just to explain a bit of what's going on with the consomme. So, this we got like cilantro, some onions, and then it's got chunks of beef in here. That, and that's really what's giving it that beefy flavor that's complementing these tacos. 
Mm, it's got like a really hearty herbal, herbly, not beef soup, beef broth. Nice compliment from those tacos. We're concluding our food tour here. Um, we're on a park bench. Not really a park bench. It's on a bench. Um, Kenny insists on having dessert. My yeah. stomach is so full. But nonetheless, we're gonna give this a fair shot. I'm gonna have one bite, nothing more, nothing less. Stealing phrases from Dave Portnoy now. All right, so here it is. A tress, leches, tiramisu cake. It's like a tiramisu. That's it. Yeah. Very in-depth analysis. Basically a tiramisu. Very good. It's a solid tiramisu. Like a 7 out of 10. 7. 7. Yeah, 7.2. 7 it's a tiramisu. No. Bruh. Nothing amazing. I think I was expecting a little more from Trez Leches. But... I just don't want to miss Also it. could be because I'm so full. <laughs> Alright. Um, really, really full. Went to what, five? Five. Five. Six. six. Boba. If you can't boba, six different spots. Not bad. I feel like I could take a fat nap now or walk off all this food I just ate. I don't think I can eat dinner tonight. But um Olive Garden. Um ranking wise. I think I would, okay, just a disclaimer, when I had that Jia Ming Guozi this morning, I was so hungry, and when I had that taco, I was so full, so it was like, um, you know, it was this big contrast, and that might have contributed to some of the uh, rankings here, but I really enjoyed that Jia Ming Guozi today, so I think I, I'm going to rank that number one, although, you know, Listen, I'm not saying it's the best jamming goods in the world, but I was craving it. I really like jamming goods. It was really solid, really transports you to the streets of Beijing, as close as you can get in New York. So that's number one. Number two, I would have to go with the tacos. Those are really, really good, surprisingly good. Um, and then number three, marinara pizza, probably. Um, yeah, I'm not a thick crust type of guy, but you know the... Um, MVP was quite good for a cheese crust pizza. I quite liked it. It was you know crispy, cheesy, not bad. Um, and then after that, hmm, probably Yubu. Um, yeah. That was last place. Yubu, Yubu. Oh, oh tiramisu. And then tiramisu. Oh my god. Um, I don't know. Yubu was good, but I just I don't know. It didn't nothing. It didn't super super stick out like you know I don't know but Kenny really loves Yubu so Yubu is great get the get the salmon one and eat it with chopsticks unlike what we did yeah um, anyway but great day of eating I love these unexpected food tours of just going around and eating um, can expect more of that in the future um, but this is a tour of New York's food featuring Kenny Kenny's guided tour of New York food basically yeah. That was a great guide. 10 yep. out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the experience. Until we eat again, see you next time. Bye. Bye.